Once you understand how to create this beautiful login system design, let me show you how you can add a beautiful login logout feature inside this express project. So I'm going to back to my editor and here I'm going to back to my server.js file and inside it I'm going to first add the body parser module. So here I'm going to say constant body parser is equal to and then call the required statement and call the body parser module. We already installed this module in this project so we don't need to install it again. So just out of this port down here I'm going to just add app dot use and inside it I'm going to specify body parser dot json and then I'm going to say app dot use body parser dot url encoded and in the parentheses in the curly braces I'm going to say extended true. Now let me explain what is this body parser module. Basically the body parser module is responsible for passing the incoming request bodies in the middleware before you use it. Now if you don't want to use this body parser in this project that's upon you. You can skip it and add a simple express middleware to serialize the form data. I already explained how to serialize the data in the previous lecture. Now, just for that, just out of this body parser, I'm going to just require this session module. So here I'm going to say constant session is equal to and require the express session module. So I can create a session variable using this module. So just out of this app.use out here. I'm going to create app dot use. I'm going to call a middleware method use. And here I'm going to say session. I'm going to pass some properties. So in the curly braces, I'm going to say secret. And to the secret, I'm going to specify a string. So here I'm going to say secret. Then I'm going to say here receive false and save uninitialize true. I'm going to pass these properties to this session module. Now you can notice here, I just specify here hard coded value secret. Now what if I want to make this session completely secret from the user? I can use the hash value here instead of this string value like this. So if you want to make the session completely secret, you can use this string right here. So as you know, I install the UUID module inside this project. The UUID module is going to create this string value with UUID method. So up here, I'm going to say constant in the curly braces. I'm going to say v4 version 4 of UUID and then I'm going to specify UUID v4 and I'm going to just specify equal to sign and require the UUID module like this. And don't forget to call this method down here instead of this secret string. So here I'm going to say UUID 4 specify parenthesis. So this function is going to generate the string something like this. So this method will make this session completely secret and unique. Now just for that, once you have the session, let me just create a simple route that can get the user input from this form, check that user input and redirect the user on different pages depending on the user input. So down here, I'm going to create my different routes. But instead of making this file more complicated, I'm going to use the programming principle separation of concern and I'm going to just add routes inside a separate file. But before we create routes, now let me just show you a very simple error you will get when working with template engine. Let me just change this title and specify here DITL. Save the changes and here you can notice you're going to get an error message. This will just say title is not defined. You'll get this error from the EJS template engine because you can notice here in the header you have this title variable. So to solve this problem, I'm going to just use here if and else condition. So what I'm going to do is instead of this title, I'm going to simply see here locals dot title. So this will just get all the local variables of EJS template engine. And here I'm going to check that using this ternary if and else condition. So I'm going to specify here question mark. And if we have value inside this title variable, just return the title variable. So I'm going to specify here title. Or I'm going to specify colon here, return login system. Save the changes. And now when you reload the browser, you can notice you have a login system text here. So this statement is going to execute this false value because we don't have this title variable return from this server. So this is how you can easily solve this problem while working with EJS template. Let me just change this title variable 
like this. Now let's move to the section where I'm going to add a different routes to this project. So I'm going to create a new file inside this login system. So here I'm going to create a new file router.js and inside this file I'm going to create a different routes of this project. So inside this file I'm going to first say var express is equal to and require the express module. I'm requiring this express module because I want to use the router method. So just down here I'm going to say var router is equal to express dot router. So I'm going to call this method router to create router inside this file and just down here I'm going to create a different routes for this project. So I'm going to create my first route for the login user. So here I'm going to say router dot post. I'm going to call a HTTP method post and inside this parenthesis I'm going to call the route path. So in the single code I'm going to specify login. As a second argument I'm going to specify the callback function. So here I'm going to specify request and response parameter call the arrow function like this and inside it I'm going to send the response when the route is match. So when the route is match I'm going to execute this callback function. So inside this route I'm going to just simply check the user input. So what we are going to do is when we specify here input inside this email and this password field and when we click on this submit I'm going to just redirect the user on this login route and I'm going to just get that user input using this request parameter. So down here I'm going to say if request dot body dot email I'm going to have this email value inside this variable and I'm going to just check that value with the database value. But as you know we don't know the database integration yet. So instead of getting the values from the database I'm going to create here a simple variable a constant variable with the name credential is equal to specify curly braces specify email and specify here admin at the rate gmail.com and specify password password is going to be admin123 so I'm going to check this input value with this object so I'm going to say here equal to sign if this input value is equal to credential dot email and I'm going to check the second condition request dot body dot password if this value is equal to credential dot password then execute this if statement otherwise execute this else statement now you just need to assume that we are going to get these values from the database if the input value and the database value match I'm going to execute this if statement otherwise execute this else statement so in the else statement I'm going to say response dot and and return invalid user name or you can specify any error message here that's upon you inside this if statement here I'm going to say request dot session I'm going to create a new session if the input value and the database value match and I'm going to create a new session with the variable name user and I'm going to specify here value request dot body dot email so to this user session I'm going to specify this email now just for that once I have this session variable I'm going to just redirect the users so here I'm going to say response dot redirect and in the parenthesis I'm going to specify single quote and say here forward slash dashboard so I'm going to just redirect the user on dashboard ejs file don't worry we're going to create this file soon but for now let me just save the changes and back to the base dot ejs now you can notice here I did not specify the action attribute value so here what I'm going to do is I'm going to specify here forward slash then specify route then specify login so I'm going to specify here route path inside this action attribute and don't forget to specify the method and this is the type of post method so I'm going to specify here post you can notice here I'm going to redirect the user to this login route when I click on this submit button so let me just save all the changes and just back to my server.js file and here I'm going to add my route.js file. So up here I'm going to first add a constant variable constant router is equal to require and I'm going to just require dot forward slash the router.js file. So here I'm going to say router and just down here before this home route I'm going to specify 
app dot use and in the single code as a first argument i'm going to specify forward slash route and as a second argument i'm going to specify router so this middleware will add all these routers inside this server so when i want to execute this login i want to first specify this route then specify forward slash and then specify this login route you can notice here i just specify here route forward slash login so any route included inside this router.js file will start with this route path let me just save the changes and right now instead of returning this dashboard i'm going to just return response dot and and i'm going to say here login successful let me just save the changes reload the browser oops i think i misspelled something i, I just forgot to export this route i used to do this type of mistake so here i'm going to say module dot export is equal to router so this will just export this router module using this statement save the changes save this file as well as you can notice this will successfully reload the browser and now let me just check my login is working or not in the email i'm going to specify the database value this admin dot at the rate gmail dot com like this and in the password i'm going to say admin one two three when i press submit you're going to get a message login successful and this will create a session variable with your email but for now let me just back to my login page just load it specify my email but this time i'm going to misspell this password i'm going to say admin and when i press submit button you can notice i'm going to have a message invalid username now you can notice the route is now successfully working in the next lecture i'm going to show you how you can add a dashboard to this project and then i'm going to add logout feature to this express application